Welcome or welcome back at any help at C score. In this example, we need to solve a system of equation. And uh, if you notice, the second equation contains a quadratic y equals x squared minus 17. This is a system of non-linear equation. And the way I'm going to solve this one is by using substitution. Why? Because I notice I have y equal. So that means I can take this y and replace the other y in the first equation. So the first equation becomes x plus, and like I said, instead of y, we're going to put x squared minus 17 equals 3. And you notice this is a quadratic equation. If we want to solve it, we have to have 0 on one side. So I'm going to subtract 3 on the right side. That's the easiest way to get to 0. And the left side, I'm going to uh, Arrange based on exponents. What do I mean by that? I'm going to start with x squared and then plus x and negative 17 minus 3 is negative 20 equals 0. And now this quadratic, we can solve it in different ways. I will use factoring. I'm looking for two numbers whose product is negative 20. The sum is 1. Those two numbers are positive 5 and negative 4. So this is the factor form, x plus 4 times x, I'm sorry, x plus 5 times x minus 4. And then we can use the zero product property. And we have the first factor equals to zero, or the second factor equals to zero. And then we have here, subtract 5 on both sides, we end up with x equals negative 5. And here we add 4, we get x equals 4. You see, we have two x's. But this is a system of equation, as I said, and we need to find also y's. So for finding y, um, you can pick either the first equation or the second one. Let's pick the first one, or the second one, y equals x squared minus 17. And in this one, we're going to replace x with negative 5. And we have negative 5 squared minus 17. So that will be positive 25 minus 17, that will be 8. So again, for this x equals negative 5, we end up with one y of 8. The solution for this system of equation is negative 5 and positive 8. Now we have a second solution, which is given by x equals 4. In the same equation, y equals x squared. On the first one also, you can use it. We can plug 4, and we have... 4 square minus 17, that will be 16 minus 17, and that will be negative 1. So the second solution for this system of equation is 4 and negative 1. So we have two solutions. Also, we can look to this problem graphically a little bit. Uh, you notice here we have a graph of a line. Yeah, this is the first equation x plus y equals 3, and the graph of a parabola, this is the second equation, y equals x squared minus 17. You notice we have these two intersection points, I call them a and b, and you see the coordinates also. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.